Hi guys, welcome to Steve's Kitchen, a continuation of that fillet of fish, the one that I was making earlier, which I dissected. If you didn't see the earlier video where I opened the, the bun up and, and looked inside to see how it was constructed, then get back and have a look at that. Now, the other day I made the buns for this, so if you want to make your own buns, you don't want to use a shop-bought bun, I've got a gluten-free version, which is here, and a regular version, which I will put here. So let's get on now and construct this thing. Let's get on with the sauce. As with almost every McDonald's sauce, we're starting with a base of mayonnaise, but I'm going for homemade fresh mayonnaise, which you've seen me make on my channel before, but I'll show you very quickly how it's made. 300 mils of oil, any vegetable oil will do. One egg. A pinch of salt. A tablespoon of white wine vinegar. A squeeze of fresh lemon. A quick twist of black pepper. And about a teaspoon of mustard. Then a quick whiz up with a stick blender. And within a few seconds, you've got a lovely homemade mayonnaise, which is, by the way, much tastier and much healthier than anything you'll buy in the stores. Okay, so I've got a couple of tablespoons of the uh, mayonnaise, the homemade mayonnaise, put aside there. Now I've taken one of these pickles, these pickle gherkins, and I've just chopped it up very finely. Now we're gonna pop about a tablespoon of that into there. And I have to remember that the sauce with the fillet of fish was very sweet. So I'm just gonna add a teaspoon of super fine sugar in there as well. And then I'm just going to blend that together. Now I'm trying that, and I'm remembering the flavor of that sauce. It's, set, it's perfect, but it needs a little extra vinegar. So I'm just gonna put about half a teaspoon of, of white wine vinegar, or any white vinegar will do. Yep, that's getting there. Now, I'll leave that sauce aside to infuse the flavors into the mayonnaise. So now we need our fillet, filleted fish, okay? So I've got a piece of fish here, it's about 150 grams. It'll make comfortably uh, three fillet of fish. So I cut that into three pieces. You remember that the, uh, the fillet of fish came in, weighed in at about 50 grams, including the batter. I'm gonna take this nice square piece in the center here to work with. Now you'll remember the batter on the fish, the fillet of fish, was a fairly dense, and it wasn't a very airy batter. Now, I'm gonna show you a very quick batter. That's one half a cup of all-purpose flour and one half a cup of milk, and about half a teaspoon of salt. Now, of course, if I was making a, a, a quality batter, there'd be eggs and beer and all sorts of seasoning in here, but this is a plain batter. It doesn't want to be too, too strong. If it's too thick for you, I mean, that's the sort of consistency we're looking for. You can always adjust the milk slightly. So I'm just taking my piece of filleted fish here and I'm just patting it dry with a paper towel. And I'm gonna take a, a set of tongs and just, just dip that in there and coat the batter over the fish. And then we're gonna take that out and pop that in our fryer. Okay, so I'm frying this up on a shallow frying pan. I've got about an inch of oil in there, which I'm heating up. It wants to come up to about 190 degrees Celsius. I think that's about 350 or 375 degrees Fahrenheit. But you can test it by just dropping a little bit of bread in there. And if, if it sizzles like that, you're pretty much sure your batter's gonna to sizzle too. So now I'm gonna take our piece of battered fish and I'm just gonna gently lay it in. I'm not gonna drop it in all the way. I'm just gonna let the batter start to get solid on the edge and then lay it gently into the oil. And we're just gonna let that fry until it's golden brown for about three or four minutes so that the fish is cooked. So you'll see after about three minutes, we've got this lovely golden brown batter. I've got another little piece in there. So I'm just gonna lift that out now and pop it onto a bit of kitchen towel just to drain. So now let's construct these fillet of fish. Now this roll is my homemade uh, dinner roll. And you'll see there, it's beautiful. It's not pappy and papery like the other one. And this is my gluten-free roll. Now, I'm gonna put a full square of cheese on here because I think McDonald's are a little bit stingy on the cheese and I think we should have a full piece. Now I've got two pieces of fish. One here, the first one that I fried off, was done in a regular batter. This second piece I did in a gluten-free batter. So same recipe as before, but I've just used gluten-free flour on it. Fillet of fish sauce, or my homemade mayonnaise fillet of fish sauce on there. And I'm not gonna to be too stingy with it, guys. 
I think it should taste through. So we've got this very strange combination of cheese and fish, but with this delicious sauce. And we can pop the lids back on our buns, give them a firm push down. Same with the gluten free. So there you have it guys, there is my fillet of fish. There's my gluten free, a strange looking little bun that one is, but I can tell you it's gonna taste great. And this one here, if we had it in the box, it's a little bit fatter than the, the regular one. But doesn't that look nice compared to what I bought out of the, uh, the original box? And there it is. I'm gonna give this a try now. I mean, there's clearly a lot more fish in that, and I bet it tastes a lot tastier. Let's give this a try. I have to say, guys, that is a lot tastier because the bread is fresh. The fish is there. I, excuse me, talking with my mouth full. But the fish is there, you know, it's, it, you can taste the fish in there. It's a lovely, strong, oh. And let's go for the gluten-free. The bread texture is a little different, but you'd expect that from a gluten-free roll. But the taste is wonderful. The sauce is perfect. Guys, that's been a lot of fun. I've done these experiments before. I've got to thank, uh, thank Ellis for recommending it. Hmm. Take care. I will see you in the next video. Be good. So guys, this week's been a lot of fun doing these videos that Ellis asked me to do. Um, I love experimenting. You saw when I did the, uh, the Tim Tam biscuits the gluten-free Tim Tams. I love doing those sort of videos. So there's my subscribe button above and comments down below. A couple of links to the side. Take care.